Tensions between Seoul and Pyongyang have risen in recent years amid North Korea's nuclear tests and the launching of ballistic missiles, conducted in violation of the UN Security Council's resolutions. During his recent meeting with South Korean top military officials, President Moon called for the enhancement of defense readiness, according to Yonhap News Agency. Seoul will increase military spending to 2.9 percent of GDP. The country's leader also stressed the importance of the economy and defense for national well-being. But one important decision was already taken by South Korea. It was to acquire a potent precision strike weapon. In this video, Defense Updates looks at Taurus KEPD-350 that can be used by South Korea to neutralize North Korean missile and nuke sites in less than 15 minutes. Let's go into the details. Number 5. Taurus KEPD-350 is a German-Swedish air-launched cruise missile manufactured by Taurus Systems and used by Germany, Spain, and South Korea. Taurus Systems is a partnership between MBDA Deutschland and Saab Bofors Dynamics. Mission planners program the missile with the target and planned ground path. Then the missile uses a low terrain-hugging flight path guided by inertial navigation system, image-based navigation, terrain reference navigation, and GPS to get to the proximity of the target, although it's capable of navigating over long distances without GPS support. Once close to the target, the missile commences a climb maneuver to an altitude intended to achieve the best probability of target acquisition and penetration. At this point, the missile attempts to match camera image with the planned 3D target model. If match is found, it dives and destroys the target. If it cannot, it will steer to a predestinated crash point instead of risking an inaccurate attack with undesired consequences. This robust navigation and target detection capability of the KEPD-350 will enable the missile to hit remote targets in North Korea. Number 4 The missile has an official range in excess of 500 kilometers, that's 300 miles. It's powered by a turbofan engine which enables it to travel at Mach 0.8 to 0.9 or about 1,000 kilometers per hour. Tornado, Eurofighter Typhoon, Gripen, FA-18 and South Korean F-15K aircraft can carry it. Pyongyang is about 200 kilometers from the border, hence even if the missile is fired from within South Korean airspace, it can take less than 15 minutes to reach its target. The double 500 kilogram or 1100 pound warhead is called Mephisto, that's multi-effect penetrator, highly sophisticated and target optimized. It features an initial penetrating charge to clear soil or enter a bunker, then a variable delay fuse to control detonation of the main warhead. The missile weighs about 1400 kilograms, that's 3100 pounds, and has a maximum body diameter of 1 meter or 3.3 feet. This two-stage warhead is capable of destroying hardened bunkers and makes them apt for use against North Korean nuke and missile facilities. Number 3 1. The missile is made of modular sections, which can be configured based on the individual missions. Its electronic systems are also modular. 2. The Taurus missile is suitable for day and night and all-weather deployment. 3. It has stealth characteristics and terrain masking features for survivability. The missile also includes countermeasures as a self-defense mechanism. 4. It's highly accurate, making it capable of undertaking precision strike missions. Number 2. South Korea initially wanted to acquire Lockheed Martin's AGM-158 JASSM, but Washington rejected this request. The speculated reasons for the US rejection of the JASSM deal with South Korea vary. Primarily, the United States was reluctant to deal with South Korea because of export restrictions on highly capable delivery systems as outlined by the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. With JASSM's operational range of about 370 kilometers, selling these would have exceeded the MTCR threshold of 300 kilometers. 
but this issue is not the only explanation, especially given the United States and South Korea agreed in October 2012 to new guidelines enabling South Korea to develop and deploy missiles with an 800 kilometer range and a 500 kilogram payload. South Korea's delicate relationships with Japan must have been influential. Japan unable to deploy preemptive strike weapons due to Article 9 of its pacifist constitution would have been irritated if a regional rival was allowed to purchase standoff offensive weapons. Moreover, if the door for JASSM had opened to South Korea, it would not have been easy for the United States to reject other allies' requests. In the long run, such a situation may have resulted in the proliferation of such weapons, an outcome that would jeopardize the MTCR's authority. Washington may also have been concerned about the transfer of sensitive technology and reverse engineering. Number 1 South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration DAPA, signed the deal in November 2013 for 170 KEPD-350 missiles. Taurus Systems opened an office in Seoul to handle various acquisition tasks and support technology transfer and joint development of the next cruise missile. The office was the company's first outside of Germany, and the KEPD-350 is the first European missile to be integrated onto a Korean fighter aircraft. In October 2016, South Korea announced it would acquire a further 90 Taurus missiles, in addition to the 170 previously ordered, in response to North Korean nuclear and missile provocations. On the 12th of December 2016, the first 40 Taurus KEPD 350K missiles were delivered to the Republic of Korea Air Force, which began deployment for combat use on the 22nd of December 2016. Most of the North's weapons of mass destruction production units and storage facilities are located in the mountainous areas near the Russian and Chinese borders. Due to distance, such a location provides protection from the US and South Korean artillery and short to mid-range missiles. With Taurus KEPD 350K, South Korea also has a way to take out these positions. It has about 59 F-15Ks which can effectively Launch this missile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.